Is work becoming a chore? Not reaching those targets? Feel like you're going nowhere? Well, now there's a way to totally transform the workplace experience. It's free and comes with a 100% satisfaction guarantee. We call it walking. Walking. Rediscovered by us for you. Doing some physical activity while you're at work has lots of benefits, but we're not going to use a quirky ad campaign to tell you what they are. We all want to find the perfect work-life balance, but our health, fitness and personal relationships often bear the brunt of our busy, office-centric lives. Workplace walking is a cost-effective, safe and easy way to encourage employees to achieve the recommended 30 minutes of physical activity every day. Low levels of physical activity can have a really negative effect on someone's physical health. Um, they can be more susceptible to some, to some serious medical conditions such as diabetes and obesity. Um, coronary heart disease is one of, the, one of the main concerns for people who are not physically active. By being physically active, you'd help to um, counter the effects of um, some of these illnesses, but also increase energy levels and levels of overall fitness. The evidence is hard to ignore. In Scotland, an estimated 4.3 million working days are lost every year due to sickness absence at a cost of £10 billion. Workplaces that promote physical activity um, are generally considered to have around about 27% fewer days um, sickness absence. Also workplaces that um, take part in physical activity um, pursuits um, generally tend to have around about 25% lower rate of uh, accidents and industrial injuries as well. Paths for All is a national charity funded in part by the Scottish Government to help tackle physical inactivity in Scotland. Since the launch of the Paths to Health programme in 2002, Paths for All have been supporting and developing walking for health projects in communities, workplaces and healthcare settings across Scotland. At City of Edinburgh Council, walking has become a regular feature of the working day after a pilot programme was launched by Workplace Walking Coordinator Don O'Donnell. I saw an advert from Pass to Health um, advertising walk leaders um, courses, which I thought was quite interesting because I'm very much into walking myself. So I went along to it and I thought it was very interesting. I came back to my own office and uh, pitched it actually dear to my managers and thought it was a great idea to actually get people out walking. So it started off very small as a pilot in the south office um, and then I went to different offices and it grew up bigger and bigger. And I just think it's a wonderful idea um, and I'm very enthusiastic about it. And I've managed to find a lot of people who are quite enthusiastic as well to be walks leaders and also to come out on the walks as well. Because I secured funding from Pass to Health, we were able to organise training for all these people. So once I trained three or four staff from each office, we then went and did like a launch and we then got people to sign up, um, staff to come out walking all the time. So that's how we implemented it. We did one office at a time and I've now got 12 offices now taking part. We get like a lot of tremendous support from our senior management. They were so overwhelmed by the actual response from the staff of this and how much they liked it that they've actually endorsed the recommendation to include walking in the workplace as part of our physical activity strand. So that's been quite sort of encouraging as well. What we do is we actually have people in each office, three or four people who are the walk leaders, and it's their responsibility to actually send out an email ten minutes before or go around everybody and say, right, we're all going out for a walk. And because people feel as though they're not having to actually make the effort themselves, they just have to get up, put their coat on and follow someone and that person will take them on a walk which would last roughly about 30 minutes or 15 depending on how they feel. We've actually trained 32 walk leaders, we've got the 12 walking groups and because they go out two, maybe three, four times per week with about 10 to 20 people going, we actually worked out about 350 staff are out walking in a week which I think is actually quite an amazing um, percentage of staff to go out all the time and it can only get better. I just thought it sounded like a really exciting initiative. I, I like going walking anyway and this seemed like an opportunity to meet some colleagues uh, and to get out on a systematic basis once or twice a month. I think the organisation gets benefits from it and you know, individually we all do as well. You get to chat to people who you wouldn't normally talk to. You've seen them in and about your office and you know who they are but you don't actually get to talk about things other than work. Whereas when you go on the walk you end up talking about all sorts of things, you meet new people, you find out about their lives outside of the, 
um, workplace, so it leads to more friendships within the workplace. It's just a nice form of exercise, we just take it at a nice steady pace, nobody has to run or rush to keep up, it's just nice sort of ambling along. The atmosphere is a good atmosphere, it's a supportive atmosphere. If somebody's got a problem of bad meeting or something, you get out there, get it off your chest for half an hour, back to the office, new woman. Okay, so I'm going to ask you all, who here thinks they do enough physical activity? Paths for All have developed two training courses to allow you to plan and deliver lead walks from the workplace. The Workplace Walk Organiser course focuses much more on the, the marketing and communication side, so how you actually go about setting up your project, who to involve, how you market it, that, that project across the workplace. Uh, we do look at the, the, the benefits of workplace walking schemes within that as well. The Workplace Walk Leader course focuses much more on individuals um, being confident in ability to lead health walks uh, and on a daily basis, so it, it focuses on route planning, risk assessment and also qualities of being a, an effective walk leader and, and also we, we, we try and throughout that course motivate individuals to, to be effective walk leaders. Drinks company Diageo is committed to improving the health and well-being of its workforce and has introduced its own workplace walking initiative. The Great Diageo Walking Challenge is a virtual route round the whole of our sites in Global Supply Scotland. We have a total of 33 teams um, all round the whole of Scotland that have uh, participated. There's five people in each team. Um, every Monday the team leader um, of that group phones in the step count from all their team. I calculate the steps and every week I produce a leader table for everyone to know where they are in the challenge and whereabouts they are in the routes. Employees throughout the company are now feeling the benefits of workplace walking. Walking is um, a thing that I like to do. I've done a lot of walking um, and for charity um, and to keep fit. Um, but it's something I like doing and when the walking challenge came up I thought right I'm going to go for this and I'm going to put a team in. I can walk further now than what I ever could uh, and I think doing it in a group you get more motivated because they're motivated and they motivate you and then when we do the walkers walk we meet other teams so we have a wee bit of chat and walk and whatever so it's good that way, it's a good socialising thing I think as well, good team building. I've spoke to a few folk and they've actually started doing the walk with us now. You know, it's um, just then, then, then we're talking about how many steps and it's a wee challenge to see how many steps other folk's done. The town centre to me is Paisley, it's about half an hour. I walk there and back now, whereas before I would jump the bus and all, but a lot of times I walk. There's a park about 10 minutes away from me. I go there, walk down the hills and all that, so I think I've really get quite obsessed about it. You work long hours, you don't get a lot of work-life balance in your life. Uh, and for me, this challenge has brought some of that back into my life. Um, I walk with my husband in the evenings and I take my grandchildren out at the weekend. So I'm getting to spend a lot more time with my family that I wouldn't otherwise do at the moment. Diageo received a Paths for All grant that covered the cost of pedometers to help the workforce monitor their progress. The pedometer is it's like part of my jewellery now, my makeup. I have it on at all times. I never forget to wear it. I check it all the time and I tend to, uh, if I, I'm walking any distance, I check to see how many steps it's taken. Pedometer packs can be purchased from Paths for All. They're designed to complement the lunchtime walks and encourage more independent walking. Paths for All can also provide a range of promotional resources to organisations who are starting workplace walking projects. The website www.workplacewalking.org.uk contains extensive information to help projects get started. The promotion of workplace walking can also contribute towards achieving a Healthy Working Lives Award. Healthy Working Lives is an award programme that's set up uh, specifically for workplaces in Scotland. Um, workplaces large and small can get involved and it's basically an award scheme that can um, help companies highlight um, physical activity, healthy eating, mental health um, to their staff. Employers like Diageo and City of Edinburgh Council recognise that they have an obligation to the health and well-being of their workforce. Investing in the health of employees can also bring business benefits, such as reduced sick days. 
walking more as part of the working day can help employees across the country begin to change their lifestyles for the better and also benefit employers through a happier, healthier workforce. It gets you up, it gets you doing stuff. You might think, oh, I can't be bothered, I'm too heavy, but it's great. I would say to them, just give it a try. We get half an hour for lunch anyway. Don't waste it, use it.